Apple is calling the Vision Pro the most advanced personal computing device it's ever developed, and it better be at $3,500. Right now, we're getting our first look at WWDC 2023. There's lots of features that we can get into here, but the bottom line is that Apple wants this to be a device for FaceTime conferencing, it wants it to be for productivity, as well as reinventing the movie experience, and they're doing that with an all new processor and all new specs on this device. This is a very powerful headset with two chips inside. There is an M2 chip as well as an R1 chip, which is for real-time processing of data. So how are you gonna interact with content when you're wearing the Vision Pro? Well, you're not gonna to have to use a controller. This device has cameras that are built in that are using eye tracking, so the sensors know where your eyes are looking, and you can use hand gestures, just like pinch movements, in order to select items. So in that way, it does feel futuristic. So you can see on the right-hand side, there's a digital crown there that lets you dial in the immersive experience that you want to see in terms of the content. Do you want to see the world around you, or do you want to just be totally immersed in the video or that game that you happen to be playing? The goal is that you have the choice when you're using the device. What you're seeing right here is the view that you'll be seeing when you're viewing content. It definitely looks less geeky than other VR headsets that have been on the market, and they spend a lot of time concentrating on comfort as well as the specs. Then you can also see that there's a dial for adjusting the fit of the headset and there's mesh fabrics there, so hopefully it won't overheat on your head either. On the left-hand side of the headset, there is a button for capturing content. So you can capture photos and video and they're supposed to be more immersive than what you would get through your iPhone. Right here you have the audio that goes directly into your ears, gives you a spatial audio experience. There's a battery pack that attaches to the Vision Pro headset magnetically, so it should be pretty easy, but it's one other thing that you have to carry around. And they're promising two hours of juice, which is not super long, but hopefully long enough to, let's say, watch a movie. There's a couple of things I'm concerned about when it comes to the Vision Pro. One is obviously the $3,500 price. A lot of people thought it was gonna be three grand and it's even more than that. The other is what it looks like when you're talking to other people. There's this feature called EyeSight where you can see my eyes through the headset, but I'm still not exactly present with you. It's also one that looks kind of creepy. And while it's cool that you can capture content while wearing the headset, I wonder if the other people around you are gonna be a little bit freaked out and you're not gonna be as present as you might otherwise be because you are wearing this device. With the Vision Pro, it's clear that Apple doesn't really know yet what the killer apps are gonna be for this device. So they're throwing a lot at the wall to see what sticks. But I don't blame them for that because that's exactly what they did with the Apple Watch before they zeroed in on fitness, for example. We think it could be worth the hype and the really high price, but we're gonna to have to wait to see what developers do with this thing. For more on the Vision Pro headset and everything that Apple announced at WWDC, make sure you go to tomsguide.com and follow us at Tom's Guide on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and more. For Tom's Guide, this is Mark Spoonow.